What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over the message that you might see in Google ads where something is eligible but rarely shown due to low quality score. And really when you're seeing this message, your keyword has no recent impressions due to a low ad rank. So I have a few different examples over here where this keyword can't run ads while well, this one is paused, but it isn't performing well because it has a low quality score. You'll see the three different factors involved in quality score. So when you're taking into account ad rank and quality score, it's basically Google looking at your bid and then your quality score for that keyword. So every time there's an auction, there's a, that keyword can potentially be triggered by something that somebody's searching. Google is looking at quality score and they're looking at your bid. Now, a lot of bidding is automated nowadays, so quality score is a really important factor because if you're running maximized conversions bidding, if you are running a maximized clicks bidding, really quickly, if you wanna join a community of other people that talk about ads, then join the Surfside PPC ads community. Go to surfsidepppc.com slash community or school.com slash Surfside PPC, and you'll be able to join my community there. If you are interested in my Google Ads course, you can go to surfsidepppc.com slash course. It's $34.99. You will learn everything you need to know about managing Google Ads and making it successful for you. Last but not least, go to surfsidepppc.com slash consulting. I do consulting and audits in case you need help with an existing account. Let's get back to the video. Even if you're using target CPA and you're not setting some type of max CPC bid or target return on ad spend, then basically your bid is just gonna be kind of up in the air somewhat. So Google's gonna really be looking at quality score when, they're lo when you're using something like maximize conversions to determine, okay, this is how much this advertiser is gonna have to spend to actually enter this auction. And sometimes you might see these really expensive clicks when you're using maximize conversions. And sometimes that comes back to a low quality score. Couple different examples. So this is kind of similar to the one I was just showing. Going. Keyword has no recent impressions due to a low ad rank. To address this issue, issue, focus on improving the relevance of your keyword, ad, and landing page. So all of those relevancy factors are very important. The other one here you'll see is the audience selection does not match your audience targeting. Something to look out for because sometimes audience targeting can actually hurt your campaign performance. And you'll always see at the very bottom your quality score as far as your expected click-through rate, ad relevance, landing page experience. So let's come over here. You'll see this is an example for a campaign that I'm running. This is really just like an example example campaign. I'm just trying to do a, a quick, just get some data into Google ads, but basically I am targeting keywords related to Google ads course training. How does it work? How to run Google ads, learn how to do Google ads, just very basic keywords. And I'm sending people to landing pages that look something like what well, I have sent people to my course page doesn't necessarily convert that well. I sent people to pages like this where, you know, free Google ads training, free Google ads training, get your name and email below to get my free Google ads training. Another example here. So just a few different pages where I've sent traffic to. And what we are looking for is, okay, I want to make sure that I'm sending people to the best landing page for the keywords that I'm targeting. And we really need to keep in mind what the overall intent of the keyword that we're targeting is. So I'm going to use a few different examples throughout this video, not just my Google ads example. But if, for example, I'm trying to get people to purchase my Google ads course, the best possible keywords for this is basically just targeting Google AdWords course, Google ads course, those types of things, and sending people to a landing page like this, where they can see everything about my Google ads course, the more information I can add here, the better. So that's always something to keep in mind when you are actually sending people to a landing page. And then my advertisement for those keywords should all be relevant to, you know, purchase my 2025 Google ads course. So that is one of the main things to look at. Now, if you are interested, go to my, my surfsidecourses.com website and you can find my Google ads course there will be updated very shortly for 2025. But basically I'm always looking at two different factors. When I see this message, there's two main things you need to look at. The first one is the easy one. Go in your keywords report. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into the columns and find quality score, expected click through rate, landing page experience, and ad relevance. You can find them through the columns here, modify your columns. You could just keep them in your keyword score, all the, your keyword columns all the time. Quality score, expected click through rate, landing page experience, ad relevance. Okay. So Google is going to give you a score based on these three factors. And basically if you are above average in all three, you're perfectly fine. I wouldn't worry too much about, you know, you should have like basically an eight or nine out of 10 if, or 10 out of 10. If you're above average with everything, you could see Google advertising course. I'm above average with everything expects, except for expected click-through rate. 
Google Ads Tutorial, I am a 2 out of 10. So what you have to do is you have to look at, okay, I'm targeting the keyword Google Ads Tutorial. The landing page where I am sending traffic to is basically not a Google Ads Tutorial whatsoever. It is a free Google Ads training, but there's really no information about Google Ads on my landing page. There's nothing that teaches anybody anything until they actually enter their name and their email. Google's not doing that. So they're not going to see, okay, there's actually a Google Ads Tutorial attached to this opt-in. So basically what they're saying is your landing page experience is below average because when people get there, there is no Google Ads tutorial there. My ad relevance is average because my ad relevance is basically Google Ads training, get my free Google Ads training, you know, enter your information for that. So that's basically a couple different factors that, that you're looking at. The third thing is expected click-through rate. Now there's not really a ton of data here for this individual keyword, and you might see something where it's like, okay, how to run Google Ads, click-through rate 2.44% is average. This one is a little bit higher, it's below average. So it's just one of those things, I wouldn't worry too much about the specific number here unless you have a ton of data coming in. If you're spending two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500 a day, thousand dollars a day you're gonna have a lot more data in your account than me who's spending like seven dollars a day or whatever i have set for this campaign so the more data you have basically the better your expected click-through rate will perform over time the two things i really try to focus on are landing page experience and ad relevance because i'm trying to figure out am i actually providing a good user experience to somebody when they enter a search term and they see my advertisement that's that's basically the first thing i'm thinking of the second is are people actually going to a landing page that solves the search that they are using? So if you're seeing a really low quality score, you have a decent amount of impressions here, one of the things you could do is click on this and actually look at the search terms coming in. Now for an exact match keyword, obviously there's not gonna be nearly as much, but you might be looking at some of these things and say, okay, we have 14 total ideas here. Some of these, and some of these might be in different language. So some of these you might say, okay, these are all pretty good for the most part. Maybe we'll get rid of this as a negative keyword. We'll get rid of this as a negative keyword. We'll get rid of this as a negative keyword. And, you know, kind of focus on what are our impressions coming in. For the most part, it's just Google Ads tutorial. Therefore, what you should do in this case is basically say, you know what? We have to approach this keyword a little bit different where when we send people to our landing page, we probably need to add more information, you know, basically give a quick five minute, 10 minute Google ads tutorial, and then try to get people to opt in to get my hour long training video. So if you have more information available, you separate it into its own ad group, create its own relevant ad, that will help with your quality score and that will help to make sure that you don't have a message like you're rarely shown due to a low quality score. So that's first things first, is really analyze the keyword itself. Is it relevant for what you're actually targeting? Is it kind of a little bit up in the air or broad in terms of search intent? All of these things are really important when it comes to your quality score and really the overall relevance of your, your ads and your campaign. A good example that, that I have here is, let's just say for example, going to a completely different industry, I'm doing landscape design. So somebody reaches out to me and says, hey, I'm a landscape designer. You know, I'm looking for people that are interested in, you know, Know, a brand new landscape design, tree planting, flower planting, sod planting, you know, all these different types of things. So everything related to landscape design. Now you may say, let me target this keyword landscape design near me. You could target it phrase match, broad match, exact match, probably phrase match, would probably be the best option. Broad match if you have a really big budget and you're targeting this keyword and you're sending people to a landing page that's all about landscape design. So people get to a landing page and it is, okay, here are all the different elements of your landscape. Here are all the ways that we can help you. And you know, at the headline is number one landscape designer in Merle's Inlet, you know, wherever you're located. So that would be a really good landing page, good landing page experience for somebody. And then let's just say your advertisement is all geared towards, you know, number one landscape designer, best landscape design, you know, hire a landscape designer. So your ad itself is very relevant to this too. When people are searching this keyword, they are looking for a landscaper who can help with the design of their front yard, backyard, side yard, you know, wherever it might be. If you convey that message to them, you should have a quality score of at least seven out of 10 and ideally eight out of 10, nine out of 10. And then you're not spending nearly as much as your competitors because you put in the work to create a relevant landing page, to create an organized campaign with relevant ads. And now you have a keyword that you should be able to get much cheaper clicks for, or at least not crazy expensive clicks for compared to your competitors. Now let's say you wanna expand this, this keyword. So you come in here and you say, Let's look for more ideas and we're gonna search landscape design. So you start seeing things like landscape architect. 
Okay, so that's the first one. And you start seeing things like backyard design. So you have two different keywords here that you might be like, maybe we should target this. Now, both of these keywords, I would say Google is probably going to look at differently than landscape design. Landscape architect is probably looking at more blueprints. You're probably looking at more kind of really more custom intensive landscape designs. And a lot of times this might be for something where it is a complete development, maybe a very large home with a huge landscape, maybe a commercial property. So landscape architect, I would say the search intent behind that is a little bit more high end to me than something that's landscape design. So if you take this keyword, this keyword here to put it directly in your landscape design ad group, change nothing else, you're probably not going to see the greatest quality score for it because you don't have a custom landing page geared around landscape architecture, landscape architect, and you don't have, you're basically not targeting all the different elements of what people are looking for when it comes to a landscape architect. The quickest and easiest way to see how Google looks at a keyword is to search it. Just go to Google, say, I'm going to search landscape architect. Okay. And you might say, well, the three top ads are all related to landscape design. So maybe this isn't correct, you know, with landscape architect. I would say, first off, Angie is probably just spending a ton of money on Google ads. Fiverr, kind of surprising they're they're targeting for this one. But, you know, I guess there's people that do landscape design on Fiverr. And then here just looks like a local company. It, my results are in New Jersey right now. It looks like a local company related to landscape design. The better way to do this is actually looking at what is Google ranking for this. So let's look at some of these different ideas that we have here. And I actually open up this website, Scape Landscape Architecture. So we have an idea of like, okay, what are they looking for? We come in here, doesn't give us a ton, although it looks like a huge park here. And let's go to projects. So if we go to projects, you're going to see, okay, landscape architecture, a lot different to me than landscape design, because something where you're looking like this financial district and seaport climate resilience master plan in New York city. That is a lot different than me getting my backyard designed. So when I come back over to Google ads, I'm looking at what are they ranking for this keyword? What do the ads look like? If it's not related to, you know, landscape design, where it's, you know, this is just, we're looking for a, a fresh, you know, fresh beds of mulch, plants, trees, sod, you know, whatever it might be. It's a lot different than landscape architect. Backyard design, same exact thing. It's much more broad than landscape design. As backyard design could include things like decks, patios, pools, retaining walls, you know, rock features, stone features, waterfalls, ponds. You know, there's so many things that can go into backyard design. So I honestly always say, if you're targeting these keywords, you're not sure what the search intent is, do a quick search. Backyard designs has actually pulled up a bike website. So Sometimes that might throw things off a little bit too. If Google's like, yeah, you're targeting a, an actual brand name of backyard design. So this keyword itself inherently would probably have a bad quality score because it is a brand name that has nothing to do with backyard design. So even if we switch it to backyard design near me, then you're still, it's still not the same keyword as a landscape design near me. Cause this is one element of the backyard. Backyard could include all sorts of different things. And I pulled up an example here where if we do backyard design near me, you're probably gonna get more companies that are doing things, you know, you see custom pool pros, backyard patio designers, outdoor landscape designers, that's that's good, but it's also one of those things like they do pretty much everything, driveway, patio, landscape, lighting, all of these things go into backyard design, whereas landscape design is more gonna be plant-based. If we search here, I found this website for backyard design, yardzen.com, basically a full comprehensive plan for your backyard and side yard, including designs, more, you know, all sorts of information, Work with an ex expert landscape designer who matches your style and aesthetic. Additional revisions for $295. Basically, you are getting a plan, a 3D design. So you're actually getting a full plan for your backyard. This is not just plants. So coming back over here, kind of a long way of saying a lot of these keywords that might seem the same can potentially have a lot different search intent. And you always want to be as closely aligned as possible with what the search intent of your end user is. You know, coming over here, landscape architect, definitely more to me of more of an intensive project. You know, if I'm looking at something like this Tom Lee Park in Memphis, Tennessee, much different than me designing my backyard. It's just a lot different in terms of the search intent behind the keyword. Now, another example that I have is you might find there's like crossover between specific keywords. I found this with insurance credentialing. If you do insurance credential, you're for the most part, you're going to get all good. You know, this is going to be a pretty relevant keyword itself. But as you get into things like, okay, credentialing verification, 
So we're saying, okay, healthcare credentialing solutions, get a credential fast, perfect. Now this over here is apply a credential, obtain a, you know, different types of credentials. So credentialing and credentials could be two keywords that are very similar, but in terms of insurance credentialing, that is a practice that needs to be able to offer specific insurance to their patients. In terms of credentials, it's gonna be more along the lines of certifications. You might look up like digital credentials, okay? so. Digital badges, so measure career advancing digital credentials. So when it comes to certain keywords, there might potentially be some crossover. That's where landscape, backyard, architect, design, you know, some of these different keywords that are all like, these are these are all the same keyword. Let's just add them all into our campaign. And then you're wondering, why is why am I getting a low quality score for some of these? Well, it's pretty simple. It's the search intent behind those keywords might be a little bit more broad. It might be something that's not exactly related to what you're targeting within that ad group to the messaging that you're using in your ads and on your landing page. So always review these keywords here. Look at the actual reasons why Google is giving you a low quality score. Target those first. Look at the search terms coming in for that keyword. This makes more sense when you have a broader phrase match keyword. And then basically sometimes you just have to do it the old fashioned way where you're just searching, searching keywords and saying, okay, why am I getting a low quality score for landscape? Landscape architect. It's like, okay, clearly Google views this more for commercial projects for, you know, this even says innovative landscape design for a campus within a campus could potentially be something where it's like a college campus or, you know, something along those lines. Architect seems something more commercial based designer seems something more residential based. If that is the case, you need to update your messaging and make sure that your service is actually aligned with what people are targeting because otherwise landscape architect, you're going to drive clicks for something like this. People are going to go into the website and say, yeah, this is basically just, you know, they do backyards. We're looking for somebody that's going to completely change the look of our college campus. And this is a, a $2 million job, you know, whatever it might be. It's a completely different service. So when you are seeing these messages, you know, when it comes to low quality scores, ad, ad rank is low, keyword has no recent impressions due to a low ad rank, kind of look at the overall aspect of that keyword, the quality score, what Google is telling you, and then basically what Google can tell you through the search intent of those keywords. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Make sure you get my Surfside PPC Google Ads course if you haven't already. But thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.